Like any Naruto game, Naruto the Broken Bond has the same intro and probably the same finish as any other Naruto game. It starts with a death scene and probably ends with a finishing battle. In the Broken Bond, you'll need to help rebuild the town which was destroyed during the death scene of the third Hokage. Now, you're going to need to help out because they couldn't be bothered hiring anyone else or they were probably dead. But out of that perspective, you'll be doing a lot of building. They've added a new feature to this game which I really enjoy and I hope that they keep doing this if they're going to make a better game. Um, they've added a walk on walls feature this time. This new feature puts you into a small quick time event which allows you to click the X button repetitively to walk up a wall. I wish they could have just made it click X to just walk up the wall because that would have been a lot easier than tapping it repetitively, especially for people with broken controllers. <laughs> You can now learn the Rasengan, which is a tiebreaker to all moves, because usually when you're low on health, you'd want to be able to finish the fight quickly without you dying. Thank goodness they added this. Money, 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 money. As I said in my other review, Jutsu will be used for almost everything in the game. For example, Neji's Byakugan ability, which allows him to see hidden objects and traps anywhere in the area. Just when you thought Ubisoft couldn't add anything else, they just did. Ubisoft managed to create a whole new tree hopping game which looks a lot better in first person, but I think they could have done better, don't you think? I noticed a lot of graphical differences between the two games, one of them looks smoother and another one looks more cartoony. But yet I still don't see why they didn't just make it an add-on to Rise of a Ninja because they both pretty much run on the same engine just with different graphics. This is some gameplay from the Broken Bond. And this is some gameplay from Rise of a Ninja. And here's some from Ultimate Ninja Storm 1. And this is the reason why I do my research on games before I buy them. Exactly Ultimate Ninja Storm 2. Even though I mixed up Ultimate Ninja Storm 2 with Ultimate Ninja Storm 1, I at least found them both just as fun. Ultimate Ninja Storm 2 was more of a fighting title, and Ultimate Ninja Storm 1 had an okay free roaming but was also a fighting title. And now I understand exactly why they created Ultimate Ninja Storm 3 to look like 2. And that's because they wanted it to be a pure fighting engine only. And I respect that. I rate Naruto The Broken Bond 8.3 out of 10. I found this game to be just like an add-on to Rise of Ninja more than a sequel and it did kind of feel like a chore if you keep the difficulty high. I found easy to be more like a veteran mode where it's always so hard so make sure you have some health stuff to keep you healthy. I will be posting a heap more videos over the next few days since I got my new capture cards so Stay tuned every Friday when I release a new video on either of these channels. Please subscribe.